Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. I live in one part of the country, in Connecticut, that is, where I can really get fresh fish and shellfish. And that's, of course, is a plus when you do the type of recipe that I do. I want to show you a classic, a classic dish done with scallop here, scallop grenobloise, so-called, from the town of Grenoble in France. I don't even know why it comes from there, because there is no scallop in, in Grenoble. But it's a classic recipe with croutons. So when I do croutons, I probably have too much here because I'm doing half a pound of scallop, which is enough for about two people. Uh, about a, a tablespoon, of, uh, or maybe not, not even, yeah, maybe a couple of teaspoons of oil. What you do the best way is to roll it on top of this here. If you do that in a skillet with the, the oil, you may absorb uh, you know, a third of a cup of oil, as I have like two teaspoons, and put that in the oven, like 350, 10 minutes or so. The rest of the garnish goes with it. I have one mushroom here. As you can see, that mushroom is dirty, so I wash it. Often people tell you not to wash mushroom. It's not a question of not washing mushroom. You only wash mushroom when you're ready to use it. That's the point. Otherwise, if you do it ahead, then they get all slimy. But if they are dirty, of course you wash them. And this is one mushroom here. As you can see, for two people, more than enough for the garnish. So, about a quarter of a cup or so, maybe a third of a cup. I have a tablespoon of capers here, and I have some lemon here. So, the lemon, the classic way was to remove, you know, the, the the skin of the lemon, that is, including the white piece underneath. And you see, when you do that, you move your knife in a kind of jigsaw fashion. And in between, in between the, the membrane here, you remove, you know, flesh, the lemon flesh here, as you can see. I do that with orange, of course. With orange, this is the classic way. Again, you go between the membrane, twist your knife around to get it. And as you see, all you have is the membrane here. This, we cut into little dice. Again, are the garnish. So, I have scallop here. And uh, very often, you may want to remove the abducting muscle here, which is a bit tough, but I do it probably when I do a ceviche roll, but otherwise, when I do it saute like this, I leave it on, it's perfectly fine. So this is going to saute on high heat, very high heat, only for like a minute or so on each side. You want them still a bit rare in the center. All I have is maybe, maybe a teaspoon of oil, just enough to oil those a little bit. And they will go there in one, one spot here. Okay, dash of salt on top. Some pepper. This is in a stainless steel pan. I get a better coloring if I do this. And again, uh, you may like your, uh, your fish or shellfish very rare, or just slightly rare, so it's a question of taste here. For example, here, if I had to serve that in a little while, even now, I see basically raw. I would put it on the side and leave it there. There is enough heat in that pan to continue cooking it for a while. I have uh, served that other man course, like five large scallop, and I have a good, well, maybe a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of butter that I'm going to do to do my black butter. Some of the mushroom in it that I'm going to saute. 
melt that butter and continue cooking it until it becomes brown. That we've got a brown butter. Now the garnish here, I'm going to have the diced lemon, capers, and then of course some crouton here. Have the crouton around. Okay, and finally, when my butter starts browning like that, I'm going to deglaze with a dash of vinegar. So you can see here, brown butter. So a couple of sprinkles uh, of vinegar. Cook it a little bit, and then we'll put that on top. And of course, with the garnish of parsley on top. And this is it. Just like I used to do in Paris in the 50s. Scallop Grenobloise. Bon appétit and happy cooking.